Well, Ben and Jen, it's a very lengthy bill and it has a lot of different components, but the overall goal is to cut down on health care costs and do more research into how to lower them even more. With rising costs all around, health care is no exception. We talk about uh, uh, the cost of living. Um, the cost of living has been going up, but the cost of health care is going up at much faster rate. Lawmakers are trying to address that, passing a bill with bipartisan support to help reduce those costs, starting with the price of prescriptions. It creates a drug discount card program that's available to all Connecticut residents. That makes you eligible, obviously, for the lowest cost drug that is available here in the state of Connecticut. The state will be able to join others in buying prescription drugs in bulk to help ensure those lower costs. The bill will also create a study into the relationship between pharmacy benefit managers and the costs of prescription drugs. Also, if a drug has increased at a rate of over 16 percent, the state will now be looking into why that occurred. Does it have to do with um, the flow of goods, the um, supply chain, or you know what what are the factors that are requiring such a vast increase in the cost? The bill also looks to make it more affordable for people when they need a medical procedure, reducing facility fees that hospitals often charge. Allowing the facility fee, but also not allowing it in certain areas so we make sure that the cost to the patients is better controlled. Lawmakers say almost 14 percent of residents go to federally qualified health centers to receive medical care, and this bill takes steps to protect those. So if we did not intervene, the, the, the federally qualified health care centers would no longer be able to function in our state. The governor is set to sign the bill into law tomorrow morning at the Capitol. Coming up on the news at 11, I'll have more on why lawmakers say this bill is just a first step at addressing the cost of health care. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.